Bro, it has never been as over for a restaurant as it is for Subway in 2023. If it was ever good, it was a long time ago. Don't get me wrong. It's not like they, they were starting at like an eight and now they've declined. They were starting at like a five that I had some nostalgia for. But let me, let me give you my experience, you know. Over the last three or four years, I go to Subway once a month. Every once in a while, whether it's my brain or the, the microbiome in my gut or whatever, just goes, hey, you could use a thousand calories of sandwich. And I say, okay, now and then, I'm not gonna lie to you like other people on the internet. I'm not gonna say like you should never eat it. Sometimes you say, I'm gonna let like my id win over the, the super ego today. So that's fair. So I go to Subway, I get a sandwich, foot long, cold cut, foot long, oven roasted chicken, whatever, okay? And I, it was not good, but I knew that it was not good and I was craving the not goodness. And that was acceptable. Acceptable, not good, acceptable. Let me give you my experience on Tuesday. I go to Subway on Tuesday, they fucked up the menu board. I've never, I, I know that they've been doing the eat fresh, refresh. They've been introducing new sandwiches, but until now I'd been able to ignore them. They had one menu board for normies and then one menu board that was like, we're trying this out. This time they got rid of the normie menu board. I'm sure that if you asked, you could probably uh, just get a, a foot long classic sandwich. But I was like, I don't want to be that 80 year old man who's walking in the, you know, a restaurant ordering some shit from like 1971. So I say, you know what? There's 15 sandwiches on the menu. They're all named superlatives. They're, they're all called like the Calgary Stampeder and shit like that. So I don't know what the hell is on them. I got 0. 0.2 seconds to read the, the 20 different uh, menu options, right? So the lady says, what do you have? I'll say, hey, give me a foot long kicking chicken. Okay, here's where it started to go wrong. As soon as I looked at the sandwich that I ordered, I said, oh, fuck. It's 1,280 calories. So that's all. We're already starting off on a bad foot here. But then I looked at every, while she was putting the ingredients on, I looked at every other sandwich on the menu and they were 19 out of 20 were over 1,000. So I was like, you know what? It could be, I, I, I've accepted that at Subway, I'm already not going to be healthy, but at least like it's, it, I didn't pick exactly the worst thing. There were still other worst things, okay? Anyway, kicking chicken sandwich, what is it? It's fucking, it's like three small breaded chicken cutlets, banana peppers, fucking who, who gives a shit, right? Some sauces. Step two of, it's already I'm pissed off, it's 1,280 calories, so I don't even know what's in it. Number two, I tipped, and you can call me a sucker for that, but the lady fucking was with my sandwich from conception to birth, okay? So I tipped, I tipped 15%. I resented being asked, but in my head I said, why, why should she not get a tip? She does more than like a, the average barista does, okay? So maybe I'm a sucker. With a 15% tip, the sandwich came to $18 Canadian. Even with the USD to CAD conversion, that's like 1550 or something like that. It's crazy. It's almost a $20 lunch at Subway now. So I said, that's insane. That's a huge second knock, okay? Two strikes. The third strike is that the sandwich was fucking horrible, even by Subway standards. Like, it's never amazing. You never eat a sandwich at Subway and you're like, oh, I've never experienced, like, taste nirvana like this. But this was, like, a brand new level of badness. Like, it's breaded chicken but then they just heat up the chicken in the microwave so the breading doesn't get crispy. It gets all like gummy. And then like 80% of the chicken cutlet is just flour. And then there's like a little bit of chicken inside. It's like when you go to a Canadian Chinese food restaurant, you get the chicken balls and it's like a big timbit with like one little small nugget of, of chicken in the middle. So like, let's, let's just go over this. Yes, I ate the whole thing. It's... 1,280 calories, it cost me $18, it was probably $15.50 without tip, still very expensive, and it doesn't taste good. 
Remind me again why anyone would go to this fucking restaurant. As the only person that was left on planet Earth defending Subway, what, it, what's the value proposition for going there? It's bad for you, it's too expensive, and it tastes like shit. Like, at least you could, you could go get something that tastes good and is bad for you. Or you could get something expensive that tastes good. Or you could get something cheap that is healthy. You know, like, there's, it, it's, it's bad in all three directions, on all three axes. I think you just got to give up on it. I, I think the restaurant is just cooked, man. It's been, it's been dying for, like, a decade but it's fucking dead now. Like they, whatever they did to try to save it, it's like when you have a sap run that you know can't get to 10, but you know if you pivot, you're gonna lose immediately. They pivoted and they're losing immediately. They're, they're cooked, man. I was the only person in the restaurant as well. Reminds me during uh, the COVID pseudo lockdowns where they would have like a sign on the front of the subway that was like, please note, we can only have one customer inside of the store at any given time. Don't worry, subway. I don't think that's going to be a problem. It's like when you order a pizza and you know, you're embarrassed because it's just for you. So you don't just crack open the door and go, hey guys, pizza's here. Hey, hey, we can't accommodate all the incredible demand. The government is not letting us let any more customers into our restaurant. Like I don't do this too often. It's a, as far as I'm concerned, it's a, it's a two-star review, which is the worst review. Because a one-star review, we just throw in the trash. It just means you're upset. Subway is, it has become a two-star restaurant. Too expensive, tastes bad, not good for you. What's the point? You joining threads? No, you guys are all stupid. With all due respect and thanks for the support, don't join threads. I know why people are joining threads. Well, that's not true. I know why brands and like, uh, like other streamers are joining threads. It's because every time there's like a new social media platform, it's like a fucking gold rush, right? It's a land grab. You get your username. You post like some fucking stupid shit that I would get completely ignored on Twitter. But because everyone's excited to be on threads, they're like, sure, I'll follow you. I'll follow you. I'll follow you. You could become like a Gary Vaynerchuk style influencer just from having the right handle and, and posting your lunches for like a couple weeks, right? But I'm fucking, I'm cooked on social media. I'm, I, I'm, my experience with Twitter, the reason I use Twitter is because I already use Twitter. It has inertia. It's not good. Regardless, I'm, I'm in for now, okay? I understand the culture of Twitter. It provides me with probably less value than it takes from me, but I have inertia. Being like Twitter sucks, I'm going to move to threads, is like being like an al alcoholic who drinks only beer and then being like this beer is fucking with my mental. I'm going to go to like vodka or something like that. Like it's a, it's a lateral move. Like you're not doing anything good for yourself. I know that Twitter is bad. I'm locked into the ecosystem right now. If it stays alive, whatever. If it dies, that's also fine. But I'm definitely not going like, hey, get me the fuck off of Twitter. Twitter's so bad for me. Now put me on the Facebook Twitter instead. You can do whatever you want, though. Where do you stand on the Dame trade situation? I mean, me personally, I would say I, th I think the Raptors should go all in. I think they could send Scotty Barnes to Portland and, and maybe some prospects and a couple of picks in return for Dame. Yes, is it, is it going to make the Raptors the Eastern Conference favorites? No, but it gives them a shot in the dance, okay? It gives them a shot in the dance. We need Scotty, man. You don't need Scotty, okay? He's not gonna, with the rest of your uh, core being at a different age than Scotty Barnes, it's not that the timeline doesn't, Line up, okay? The timeline doesn't line up. So I think this is the moment. If you want the, the, with your existing core to have another chance, you push your chips all in, you get Dame, you accept you're going to be like ass for a few years after that. If you're, if you're pure ass, you, you trade uh, Pascal for like those trades they do in the NBA where it's like you get seven first round picks 11 years from now, and then you just fucking let it ride. I've never seen a game of basketball, by the way. I've been watching a lot of, I've been seeing a lot of tweets about basketball players. Did you see that? <laughs> I didn't really see the story. Wait, did, did, did Victor Wembayama slap Britney Spears? 
or did Britney Spears slap Victor Wembayama? Because I feel like it would be better if she slapped him because the dude is like seven foot five, right? Like if you, you imagine the amount of leverage that you would get on a slap from Victor Wembayama, his security guard slapped her. Do you think that Victor then said, what are you doing? That's Britney, bitch. Who the hell's Victor Wembayama? He's the most highly touted uh, NBA prospect since Zion Williamson. He's eight foot four. He's literally unblockable. Eight four unblockable. It sounds like a Magic the Gathering card. Plus two. I'll give you a plus two for that one. That's that's damn true. That'd be a good card, man. Wait, they don't do unblockable in Magic, do they? Do they have an unblockable keyword? They do. They can't be making eight four unblockables, man. Well, what? How do you do? What? What do you do to stop an unblockable? Can't be blocked. Is there ever a can't be blocked full stop? Or is it always uh, can't be blocked by like green creatures or something like that? Both. All right. Well, if you say so. I <laughs> tap Brittany and summon my attorney. So true. Slash true. Slash marker true. So true. They call them the dolls, but they're anything but. Hey, did you see that they found that one ring card from Magic the Gathering? Here's why I, I thought that it would be printed in English. When I saw a picture of the one ring card, I'm like, I, what happens if somebody plays that shit on you during like, uh, you know, a modern event or something like that? I'm going to be picking it up. Speak, friend, and enter. Like, what, what do I know? Judge, <laughs> to, hang on, I, this is a, an Elvish system, I know this. By the way, we're screwed today. $187 million, reading the card explains the card. Uh, yeah, the, reading the card explains the card. Melon, 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 Kate Blanchett, Galadriel, Kate Blanchett, Galadriel, Amazon spent $100 million per episode on the show and it freaking flopped. That's what it says to me. Okay, um... Speaking of that, do you see The Witcher Season 3 came out? I haven't seen anybody talk. Witcher Season 3, nobody's talking about it. Secret Invasion, nobody's talking about it. Is TV cooked? Now that Succession is done, is TV cooked? But the bear is holding strong, man. That's the only thing. You ever, you know the, the image of like um, all the landlords and it says they're like fighting a war. The war is like property tax, upkeep, maintenance. Uh, like landscaping costs and then like at the top is a paradise and it's the renters enjoying themselves. That's what TV is like right now. It's just the bear at the bottom. I don't even know what's at the top. Like barbecue showdown. Tradle. This is like, an, it's an island nation. Um, I'm going to guess. They export $123 million of non-filleted frozen fish. And $23 million worth of cars. $187 million is like so small. Is Bermuda like a possibility? I would assume that they export like um, tax avoidance strategies. Okay, we're not even... <laughs> it's uh, I, You know what this was? My heart didn't want to believe that we were in the South Pacific. Now that I've guessed Bermuda, I know that we're in the South Pacific and I'm annoyed. Could it be American Samoa? Nope. I, by the way, I don't know the position relative to each other of these islands. So like we're, we're semi-cooked here. Don't get me wrong. How about Christmas Island? We already had it. it we had that one before. Is Aruba a place? <laughs> oh, that's in the Atlantic, apparently. That makes sense. The Beach Boys sang about it. Um... French Polynesia. No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Me being from the POV, what I say when I get something wrong in Tradle, open parentheses, I'm from New Zealand. Okay, well, that, that's just really tough, honestly. I mean, I'll, I'll go crazy with you on Globla. I'm not afraid to type... Nauru. Look, listen, I'm not going to beat myself up over not getting that on Tradle. No country has ever been more in the middle of nowhere. With no disrespect, you don't control like the geographic position of, you know, your country. But like, 
this is the middle of nowhere. I'm sorry to say. It's just, it's a, like, look at this thing. What even is that? It's like a trapezoid in the middle. <laughs> the, the, the earth, when, when the earth globe is centered on Nauru, it looks like a planet that's not earth because there's no land. I mean, there's land, but it's Australia. Anyway, so it's 11,000 kilometers away. Take me to Panama. It's 180 kilometers from Panama. That was great estimation because we knew that Bermuda was 13,000 kilometers away. So we, we pulled it back here. But it's not adjacent. It's because it's Honduras. Oh, <laughs> it's Nicaragua. Oh, he's crazy. That's a good one. Especially considering the out of left field guess to begin with. Nauru is three miles across. That's crazy. Can you imagine being like a, a, a middle distance runner and being like, oh, how was your run today? It was pretty good. I ran back and forth across the diameter of my country four times. Like, yeah, it was my long run day. I ran around the circumference of my country twice. It's, it's a small one today. This looks like a country in northern or western or eastern Africa. <laughs> I'm going to say this is Burkina Faso. It's very close. It's east of Burkina Faso. It's Burkina Faso, Ghana, Senegal, Togo. Togo looks like Saskatchewan. This could be, how close is it? It's like we're 94, it's a little further away. I'm gonna go Nigeria then. And I hope it's not more east of Nigeria because th that's where I get lost. Okay, it's literally just Nigeria. I don't wanna go off on a rant here, but does anybody else think that Togo is the Saskatchewan of Africa? New world. Actor, C. Thomas Howell. It's fucking Beethoven, man. Nope, okay. Tagline, he didn't give up, he got down. I'm fucked, man. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> what is break in two? Electric Boogaloo? What is, what's the sequel to Saturday Night Fever? <laughs> Saturday Night Fever 2? Ray Don Chong. Oh, you got to reveal all hints for me on this one. A Caucasian prospective grad student's affluent family won't pay his way through law school. <laughs> I'm not touching this one. Oh, my God. He what? Wait, this is the one that everyone tells me to watch the trailer of on, on stream, right? I'm not touching this one. He takes tanning pills to darken his skin. He soon gets more than he bargained for. I don't know, because he kind of bargained for, like, whatever he got, as far as I'm concerned. One word movie from 2009. It's a comedy romance. I'm going to get this. Critics loved it. Audience mildly liked it. It means it's probably really good. But I don't know what it is immediately. Vic, it's not one word. Let's call it Vicky Cristina Barcelona, though. At least the year is right. Let's keep my mind in the right domain. A film so tuned into the pre-collegiate experience that scenes which play as comedy to audiences will land as harrowing tragedy to others. Okay. Um, it is not super bad. It's from 2007. And it's not Juno. It's from, like, 2007. Pre-collegiate experience. Pre-collegiate experience from 2009. Pass me. The messages about silver linings and lousy jobs. I believe this is Adventureland. Adventureland. We got there. No problem. You don't hear people talk that much about Adventureland anymore. I know why. Because critics loved it and the audience was like, wait a minute, this isn't super bad too. It's a good movie, but it's not the same kind of, of comedy. It, the cast looks like it's kind of like a, a zombie land, super bad a uh, gross out sort of like laugh out loud comedy, but actually it's just like, it's a, a coming of age pseudo Wes Anderson sort of thing. Fair enough. Why are the critics so out of touch? 
because they watch movies like for a living. So they have higher standards than the average person who watches like one movie a week and prefers to by and large just see something that's familiar to them. Oh, sorry. I meant because um, they're sipping on champagne on their on their huge salaries. So they can't uh, freaking um, uh, d they just want to they want you to be bored. They want you to waste your money on foreign films that make three hundred thousand dollars total at the box office. They have an agenda to stop the flash from setting records. Speaking of records, OK. We've got an HMV. And most of the store is dedicated to vinyl pre cassette tapes. But the fashion definitely doesn't look like 60s. Fashion to me looks like late 70s. I'm going to say 1979 in Liverpool. 1985. Okay, fair enough. It's Bill Clinton pre-veganism. We have to imagine... I mean, this thing is, I'm like, I'm a little fuzzy on the details. So, there was Desert Storm. Desert Storm... Was that not during the Bush senior administration? And then I remember coming home from a, a restaurant with my grandparents. They turned on the news and Bill Clinton was like, we're dropping bombs on Iraq. And I was like, oh my God, it's World War III. Because I was like nine. Um, so I do feel like this is like 1997. I don't feel like this is the early 90s. All right, let's put the difference on that one. A restaurant like Subway. I don't even want to tell you that the, I 100% remember that the um, restaurant we went to was Nichols, which was Celine Dion's chain restaurant that had opened a location in my, in my hometown. This is uh, pre-Great Depression, 1925. Oh, we, dude, we can't break 4,000 here. It's not possible. Okay, so like, you know, it's still Munka S. Because this is Jonestown. I know you're like, it's not Jonestown. No, nah, bro. I don't know if you can read that, but that shit says Jonestown. I don't know when everything went down at Jonestown. Or where it happened. <laughs> Hang on. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know that much about Jonestown at all. I thought it was in the... It's in Africa or South America or the Caribbean. You know who this guy looks like? This guy looks like the dude from the Skype uh, laughing chain, <laughs> that ancient viral video that goes, You know, Mouth does the really good impression of that guy. You know that one? He looks just like him, man. Um, I'm going to say this was the Dominican Republic in 1981. All things considered, I, I'll be happy with myself here. It was in Guyana. You ever see the interview um, where the Wu-Tang Clan are all extremely high? And they're talking about when they saw the news about Jonestown. And they're like, have you ever seen the photos? They're like, no disrespect to the dead. But they're all passed out, and they got the uh, the Nikes on. They're not even cool Nikes. They're like uh, the first shoe that Nike ever made. Oh man, that's Heaven's Gate. Sorry, sorry. I got my I got my cults confused. Wikipedia Malaysia meetup via Wiki Wikimedia. This is a little bit scary. <laughs> that's Captain Planet. I'm just being real with you. You would not catch my ass at a Wikipedia meetup. There's no doubt about that. I would rather go to like a Reddit meetup than a Wikipedia meetup. I would rather that Wikipedia existed than Reddit, but there's no shot I'm going to the meetup, man. I know what you're doing. Oh, I'm just checking my, I'm just checking my texts. You're not checking your texts. I know what you're doing. It's interesting, isn't it? Because you are wearing a mask, but the culture in East Asia, I guess Malaysia is more like Southeast Asia, but the culture in Asia is if you're sick, you wear a mask to begin with. Or if like the, you know, it's dust season. So I don't necessarily think this is 2020 or later, but it certainly could be. 
I remember teaching in South Korea in 2010, 2011, and like kids would come to school with a mask on. And I would talk with the other foreign teachers and be like, wow, isn't it weird that people here wear masks when they're sick? That's crazy. They were ahead of the damn curve, man. Anyway, I don't know. This feels like older. It's not old internet, but it's not current internet to me. I'm going to guess that this is Kuala Lumpur. By the way, great attendance. I can't believe they made a banner. They got three people. One of them is dressed as Captain Planet. You talked about shit. You talked shit about kids to adults? Yeah, like, wel welcome to the fucking party, pal. What do you think your, your parents were doing any time you were busy with a play date? You need to vent somehow. I think this is 2015 in Kuala Lumpur. 2022? Let's go with the meetups in 2022. Wikipedia meetup 2022. Get with the times, Malaysia. Cringe. It's pre-unions. Pre the existence of unions. <laughs> I have no idea. No, you know what? Maybe is maybe this is reconstructing after World War II. Uh, let, just give me a second. Okay, so it's London, because I don't think you can see behind my head, but it says Hammersmith, Hammersmith Line. So this is definitely England, or the United Kingdom. Now, here's my thinking, okay? This is tough for me. This could be reconstruction after some destruction, but I feel like this doesn't look like post-World War II. They look like they're dressed pre-World War II. World War I, I don't think London was getting shelled with too much artillery, but I might be showing my age there, or my idiocy, rather. Um, regardless, maybe they're just building it, but if they're building this shit, they should really tell the train to wait. They should be like, don't drive through it yet, we haven't finished the track. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, man. It's like, can't this dude throw it in reverse or something like that? He's like, I've been waiting. I got passengers that have been on the train for eight months. Come on, come on. So I don't know. I guess the, logically speaking, the only thing that makes sense to me is that I'm wrong about the, the dress. And this is like immediate post World War II era London or even intra World War II era London. Um, and they're just dressed in 1910 style clothes. It was 1903. <laughs> I got zero points for the year. U2 album covers that go hard. Um, I'm trying to see what this says. It says Something Land Islands Company. I want to say that this is like the Jutland Islands, but I don't know. Um, where those are. <laughs> so, um, I've, am I crazy to think that, yeah, okay, dude, maybe it is. Ah, but this doesn't, I don't know, why would it be in English? It doesn't really make sense to me. This is like 1983, 82, in North Jutland. Uh, it doesn't, there's not, well, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's the oh, UK Marine Guard on duty during the Falklands War. The Falklands. Dude, today's, uh, today's time guesser was like way too British coded for me, man. Now, this is a damn house. Here's the, the only thing I'm going to say. You may disagree. And that's fine. It's your right. I don't like these mailboxes. Like this mailbox to me. This, sends, this says I gave up more than like socks and sandals say that I gave up. Like this, this shit looks like Fisher Price mailbox. You gotta have like a, a metal mailbox, man. Trees, beautifully manicured lawn. Oh, they even got the fucking lines in it. Mm. <laughs> How do you do that? How do you get those damn lines in it, man, that looks like when the news used to take a video of someone typing on their computer screen and it would go like, you know what I'm talking about? How do you, how do you get the lines in it, bro? It's all, you go, the, you go mow back and forth forever, I see. Holy. 
It's in Knoxville, Tennessee. Here we go. All the, all the Tennesseans come out. $850,000 in Knoxville? Bro, Knoxville's a shithole. Yeah, sure, maybe in Nashville, but in Knoxville? No. In Memphis? Memphis Memphis doesn't even have a come and go, and you think that would... I don't know anything about Nashville, okay? I don't know anything about Tennessee. $500,000. It's, it's much lower. $350,000. We got to come up with a better clue than single-family home. It's been single family homes literally 100% of the time. How about 437.5? Did I say 2,800 square feet or did I say 2,800 square feet? That's the real listed dot fund. It's $442,500. Oh, bang on. Why is the house in square feet and a lot is in acres? This is the kind of shit that annoys me. Like, shouldn't we keep the units constant so we have some degree of comparison? Like, I don't know what the hell 0 0.35 acres is. How much more grass is there than house? Just square meters? That would be fine. There's 43,000 square feet in an acre. See, that's good to know. I think it would be nice if it said 2,700 square feet and then like a 12,000 square foot lot. Then I would be like, oh shit, you got like, you know, 84% of your land is covered by land instead of house. That's so easy to compare. And don't even get me started on the very viral tweet over the past couple of days. I, and I quote by paraphrasing, my most American opinion is that Fahrenheit is the superior method for uh, doing temperature. It just makes sense. Zero is cold, 100 is hot, and then everything else is like a percentage from zero to 100. Clicked on their fucking profile. You're American. That's not your most, every opinion you have is your most American opinion. You can't, you don't have a frame of reference to compare it to anything else because you grew up immersed in it. Then they said, I know that Celsius might be better for science stuff. Lady, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> That's not the one you use for science stuff either. What else have we got today? Yeah, I had no idea, honestly, quite frankly. Let me just go check. Steam 250. Did I miss anything? Front Mission First Remake has just come out. It's an immersive tactical turn-based RPG placing you in command of the awe-inspiring Wanzers. Powerful military machines. Yeah, I don't think that's likely to happen, quite frankly. How about Plague Breaker? It's a retro roguelike platformer with heavy RPG elements. Pick your class and ascend a procedurally generated castle filled with undead monsters and corrupted plague doctors. Level up your character. Find items, weapons, and traders along the way before taking on each floor's boss. Okay, let me let me take a look at the reviews here. Um, I'm telling you, it's, it's Dead Cells. But it doesn't look as impressive. I didn't say it's not as good. I said it doesn't look as impressive. Am I the only person where when I see a trending game on Steam that's free, I'm immediately suspicious? If I see a trending game on Steam that's $30, I'm like, this shit probably is incredible. If I see something trending and it's free, I'm like, it's not a virus. Like, that's all I know. Just give us a second. We'll find something here. There's exceptions, by the way. Sap was, is free. That's an exception. Bro chicken. It's not enough we had bro tato. Now we got bro chicken. How about the top games this quarter? Bro tato, number one game this quarter. Volcano Princess, number, number two game this quarter. That's what Kate was playing. Is that not a, a not safe for work video game? <laughs> I thought it was like one of those games where it was like if you took the wrong path, all of a sudden it's like, you know, be careful. Dave the Diver, number three game of this quarter. Village Rhapsody, 18 plus. Aim Labs, Steam Engine Simulator. Voidigo. We played Voidigo. Cassette Beast. Smushy Come Home. I gotta hand it to Steam. There's almost no porn games in the top 25 this quarter. 
I'd like to have the steam stand up and, and take a little bit of a bow, honestly. That's got to be a new personal best. I mean, yeah, sure, there's hush hush, only your love can save them. But I mean, like, just a couple of them, that's not, that's not too crazy. Well done, everyone. <laughs> People have been, I'm not going to say they're not jerking off. They're probably just jerking off to less stuff or, you know, more traditional stuff. How about the top from this year? Vampire Survivors, Pizza Tower, Stray. Stray is the, is the 31st best reviewed game ever on Steam. That's wild, man. People love Stray. Resident Evil 4, Power Wash Simulator, Persona 5, Spider-Man Remastered, Brotato, The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, Crab Champions, Hi-Fi Rush, Volcano Princess, Dave the Diver, Papa's Freezeria Deluxe, let's go! Trombone Champ, there's been some good stuff this year. Little Gator Game, I don't even know what that is. What the heck is Little Gator Game? Fresh Women, Season 1. I'm waiting for the whole thing. Telltale screwed me on that one. I'm waiting for the whole series to be out. I'm not doing the season stuff anymore because I don't want to get attached to the Fresh Women and then find out, like, oh, they fired the head writer halfway through. I don't know. First, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Then we'll <laughs> come back and we'll figure something out. What the heck is the password game? Try it. The password game. The password game. Is it from... <laughs> is it pizzatower.io or is it neil.fun slash password game? Do what the hell? Have you ever searched something on Bing? Hello, this is Bing. Do you want to play the password game with me? No! I want you to... Bring me to the password game. Hello, Bing assistant. What is the password game? Hang on, it's typing. Searching for password game. The password game is a browser game where you have to create a password. Just relax, computer. I, here's all I know about the password game is that you have to develop a password um, with an increasingly difficult series of rules to fill. You know like when you try to uh, sign up for like a website and then you use your password manager to generate a new password and it's like, sorry, that's too long. We only allow you to make passwords from eight to 12 characters. Then you just type in like a nine character word and they're like, hey dummy, you need to use a special character. And then they're like, oh, your special character is too special. Please just use either an exclamation mark or a question mark. We're gonna give it a try. Also, I love that this is just on a website that's called neil.fun. We could use more websites like this. This is not the New York Times. This is not, uh, you know, some kind of Amazon roll up or something like that. It's just a dude named Neil was like, you know what? Let's have some fun. Please choose a password. Thanks, Neil. Okay, your password must include a number. Thanks, Neil, too, because one is too obvious. And it must include an uppercase letter. Okay, capital T. No, that's too obvious. Capital H. Your password must include a Roman numeral. I think you're so smart. Thanks, Neil. Uh, excuse me, X is a Roman numeral. Your password must include one of our sponsors. Thanks, Neil. 55555 exclamation mark June Pepsi. The Roman numerals should multiply to 35. I'm going to start with like a little seven up here. There you go. Seven times 10 is not 35. <laughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to say Than Neil. Your password must include, today, to, must include today's Wordle answer. Bro, really? Hang on. Let me get a screen region going on. Wordle. I, I didn't know that was coming up next. First word. Among. Can I? Among. Submit. There is an N somewhere. Nut T. Hey, okay. So the N goes here or here. It's, um, funky, F 
Finzi. Gnarly Because <laughs> it's got to be like an E or an I as the vowel, because we've already used A-O-U. Could be Fendi. <laughs> Reddy? Reddy seems like a good guess. There's no N. So it's not going to be perfect, but we could glean some information. Okay, we did glean some information. And it's not an E. So it's basically got to be an I. It's windy. It is windy. Okay, now hang on. Take me back. 100% win rate on Wordle. Wordle. Why does that sound wrong to me? Streak of one. I told you, I'm not a poser. I don't pretend to not play Wordle and then like play Wordle on the side. How pathetic is that energy? June, Pepsi. I'm going to say Windy June Pepsi. It sounds like an indie folk singer. Your password must include the name of this country. Okay, here we go. To me, this looks like the United Kingdom. They got, a, they got GeoGuessr inside my password game. This is crazy. Maybe, no, no, no. These signs look a little bit more Swedish to me. Also, we can see the name of the road. Can I see a town, please? I mean, we could brute force this pretty easy, but let's try to come up with a real guess. Prinz, Prinz Roslin. This is like Belgium or Luxembourg or the Netherlands or Sweden or Norway. To me, this looks like the Netherlands. Netherlands. <laughs> um, Belgium. Nailed it. <laughs> Your password must include the best move in algebraic notation. All right, this one I could actually possibly do. I would say, I mean, for me, the best move in algebraic notation is knight to f4, which forces their king. Well, if they take them, oh no, we can, never mind. It's not a good move. I thought we had checkmate here. I didn't notice the bishop. Just take your time. There's plenty of good moves. Don't get me wrong. Like this is pre this seems pretty good. You're threatening to take the pawn. You also have a discovered check that could do some real damage. Um, still don't. Know. Well, you know what? Actually, hang on. Maybe I was overcooking myself. What if you did knight to f4? If they take, you play queen to d5. Their only move is to come back here. Then you play. Queen to d6, the king is blocking the bishop, they're forced to come back to here, and then you play king, you play queen to d8, that's checkmate. What if they don't take the knight? What if you play this and then they move back? Then you do the same thing. I think I was right. I think the best move is knight to f4. <laughs> Invalid notation? Oh, knight to f4, check. Thank you. Yes! <laughs> He's cracked! This is my chicken, Paul. He hasn't hatched yet. Please put him in your password and keep him safe. The elements in your password must have atomic numbers that add up to 200. Hang on. Interactive. I'm on my phone now. Periodic table. No, not for kids. Don't insult me. What the heck is... Okay, so helium is 2. And then vandium is 23. So we're at 25. Then add in a nitrogen. That's a 7. We're at 32. And then a second vandium. I've lost where we were. We're at 32. Wait, are we sorry? Vandium is 23. And then two iodines is... 106 plus 23. It's 129. 129. Can you keep that in mind? 129. 129 plus 23 is 152. 152 plus 7 is 159. 
I'm looking for an element with the atomic weight of 41. I would like to add one niobium, please. <laughs> I've made a mistake. Oh, you forgot your helium. Okay, I'd like, I'd like to add something with an atomic number of 39, please. Yttrium. Wow, that's easy. Thank you. All the vowels in your password must be bolded. I mean, I feel like a bit of a boomer doing this with the mouse. Don't get me wrong. You know what? Oh, no, your password is on fire. Quick, put it out. Motherfucker. The digits in your password must add up to 25. 779. We have one more. That's two. I'm <laughs> cooked. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. We have one one. Don't don't even get me started on the elements here, okay? I'm I'm kind of losing it. You need the Y back now. Oh, okay. Never mind. We're good. Please don't forget to feed Paul. He needs three caterpillars every minute. Okay, that's so doable. One, two, three. Your password must include the URL of a 13 minute, 53 second long YouTube video. He, okay, hang on, you know what? I'm gonna give him some more caterpillars. Careful, you can overfeed. <laughs> YouTube video, 13 minutes, 53 seconds long. 13 minutes, 53 seconds clock timer. Excuse me, this is 14 minutes and four seconds. What a, what a scam. Bro, this is impossible. 13 minutes, 27 seconds long video. It's 13 minutes, 28 seconds, but whatever. Please look for Paul is dead. <laughs> I don't, that's going to return too many results, man. Bing.com. I don't want to ask you something. I want to search. Paul is dead. Paul is dead. Mike Williams, Paul is dead channel. Check on the chicken. Okay, he's, 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 I, I know you don't have anything on the screen right now. He has two caterpillars remaining. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, I'll give him a few. I'm going back to Bing. I'm, I'm using the Bing search assistant, okay? I'm chatting with Bing AI. Can you find me a YouTube video that's exactly 13 minutes and 53 seconds long? Maybe we actually have some use for AI here. They're searching for YouTube video. I found a video on YouTube that's exactly 13 minutes and 53 seconds long. Okay, I click on it. It's 14 minutes and four seconds long. You suck. You actually suck. AI is not good. It literally just searched for what I searched for and went with the top result. To 20 piece or not to 20 piece by the library of Letourneau. To 20 piece or not to 20 piece. Library of Letourneau. I needed chat's help with this one. Bro, why is, why is Bing so ass at searching? Like oh, it's me! Okay, hang on. Now, let me, I, I gotta go back to the password game. There's no caterpillars left! Paul has starved. I died. What, what happens, what happens after Paul starves? Game over? Like you died? You have to run it back? Son of a bitch, man. Okay, let's, we go again. Your password must include a current phase, the current phase of the moon as an emoji. Right click, emoji. Waxing gibbous. I'm proud of myself for knowing that it was waxing gibbous, okay? This is Belgium. We know that. Oh, sorry. It's a new one. All right. This is uh, Denmark. <laughs> He's fucking cracked, bro. He's fucking cracked. Caterpillar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now my ass needs a 14 minute and 24 second long YouTube video. I don't think I'm capable of doing this myself. Bing won't fail you again? Okay, hang on. I'm the, yeah, do you eat a caterpillar? I control V. Get out of here. Control T, new tab. YouTube video, 15, 14 minutes, 
24 seconds. 14 minutes and 24 seconds clock timer. It's 14 minutes and 35 seconds long. Every second counter, you freaking suck. 14 minutes, 24 seconds of metal and ambiance. I got, oh, come on. Two, one. It's 14.24. F11, control. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Levitt and Mr. Hard. Take me back to the password game. Paul is not starving to death. Um... I copied the name instead of the, uh, you just got to give me a second here. I copied the name instead of the URL. I'm feeding Paul some extra caterpillars. I'm going back to 14 minutes, 24 seconds. And then I am going to the password game and I am placing this here. Bro, why, somebody, I'm, I'm being sincere with you. When I copy the link, it pastes as the title. What are you doing to me? Bing, you're oversimplifying things. It's like Bing is like you don't want the link. You have to control shift V. Okay, I, I got there. I got there, but I got to keep feeding Paul. Just give me a second, then I'll get the screen region back up here. Paul, you're not starving on my watch, okay? You're not starving on my watch. A sacrifice must be made. Pick two letters you'll no longer be able to use. Z and U. Sacrifice them. Oh. I'd like to. Do I have to start over? That's actually a restart. Oh. <laughs> Find a different YouTube video, but it's still gonna have you in the in the in the link. Okay, okay, we'll run it back. We'll run it back. Oh man, it's got Z in the in the link as well. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll run it back. We'll restart. We'll restart. Okay. This is a heck of a game, man. Please choose a password. Thanks, Neil. One. Password must include an uppercase letter. How about three X's and a V? Password must include a special character. Give me an ampersand at the front. The digits must add up to 25. Here's a new one for you. Your password must include a month of the year. May, no capitals. Pepsi, capture Y7 M and M. Digits must add up to 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eat my, you know what? 31 minute, 52 second long YouTube video. Okay, give me a moment. You search youtube.com colon 31 minute, 52 second. 31 minutes and 52 seconds of Pedro. That's 53 seconds. That's 53 seconds. Hang on. Still got some caterpillars. 31 minutes, 52 seconds. It's 31 minutes, 52 seconds. It's perfect. It's perfect. One second. Uh, paste the link with Control Shift V. Video unavailable. Playback on other websites has been disabled by the video player. Bitch, you turned off uh, Im embeds on your my friend Pedro Let's Play. Like, what do you think you're, you're cooking here, brother? You're hurting your own discoverability. You don't want anyone, anybody freebooting your My Friend Pedro Let's Play? Enter the Gungeon Episode 33 by Northern Lion. <laughs> Enter the Gungeon Episode 33, Northern Lion. Thank you. Bing, why is your search so ass? I put Episode 33 in the title. Darkest Dungeon Episode 33 is the top result. Like, what's wrong with you? I put it in, oh, Darkest Dungeon, Northern Lion plays 33, episode 33, nerfed, nerfed is the title. Why don't you show up as the first result? Nano? This, brother, this video is 25, that's not me, that's Rhapsody. How the heck are they, how is the search this bad, bro? I got too many damn tabs open. Northern Lion, Gungeon, episode 33. Let's make it easy for you to log in. No, I'm just looking for something. I'm looking for something. 31 minutes, 52 seconds. Thank you so much for the, oh, thank you so much for the tip. You're absolutely right. 
Um, he's still got caterpillars. Let me get a control shift V on this. You can't hear. Oh, you could hear that. Okay, it, it, it checks out. Now we can get back and we can focus a little bit, okay? Give me atomic number 37, please. That's rubidium. Are we right back where we started? Okay. Now here's the problem. M is a thousand. So you need a different YouTube video. Oh, brother. But then I got to restart the whole fucking thing. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try lower casing it, but I'm worried about what it might embed because it's just pulling from YouTube search. So give me, give me a second here. The video is unavailable. Motherfucker. Can you get it? This is an insane question. Can you get a negative Roman numeral? The Romans didn't know about the concept of negative numbers. That wouldn't work. Did the Roman numerals have decimals? Did Roman numerals invent the concept of decimals? So I need a, I need a, a YouTube URL that's 31 minutes and 52 seconds long that doesn't have an M in it. Robot, the binding of Isaac after birth plus. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. The URL doesn't work. Why? It has L because L is 500. Oh. Caterpillar. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is hard, man. This is impossible. L is 50. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. Breakout speed run. Idle breakout speed run, 31 minutes, 52 seconds. This one works, I promise. Idle breakout speed run. I can't fuck it. I, I can find it, I can find it. A sub 30 is possible, but I don't hate myself that much. This person wondering why their YouTube video is getting like 10 times more views today. The link checks out, okay. The link checks out. I think we're all right. Thank you for that. Thank you to Omega for your idle breakout speed run, 31 minutes, 52 seconds. U plus RN is over. Oh, you added 16 twice instead of 86. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait. A, don't do this to me. Don't do this. You're telling me this video won't work because U plus RS, U plus RN plus S is over 200 just by itself. Just get rid of V. I need the Roman numerals to multiply to 35, okay? PC games on console by Scott the Waz. Okay, thank you for your help. How are you supposed to solve this like without a team? Now, the, the digits must add up to 25. Six. Eight. That's 14. That's 20 out of five. We're chilling. The atomic numbers must add up. <laughs> Hang on. So a few more caterpillars while we do the chemistry. I think we might have made it. This is looking pretty good, okay? Okay, for, we have 56. So we're looking for a 144. Or we could have 72s. 72 is hafnium. HF. A sacrifice must be made. <clears throat> I don't... Just everyone chill. Let's give them some caterpillars and let's talk this through. We don't need a Z, I think. www.youtube.com slash watch question mark V equals Y eight Q H S D U N six Scandy. We need F's, that's for sure. We don't need a Z. And I don't think we need a Q. I don't think we need a Q. Okay. You literally said it. Brother, there's a lot of moving parts involved, okay? Got to find another video. I almost feel like we got to just start from zero because it's just, it's to, to, but then if you start from zero, you got to go through all this shit all over again anyway. The problem is we need to find a YouTube URL with no Roman numerals 
and no Q's or Z's and like limited numbers. Brother, I think we got to start over from zero. I think, I think we got we to gotta start from zero. Use something other than YouTube. You got to learn how to read the fucking instructions. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. One. Okay, we need a three minute and 35 second long YouTube video. This is where shit gets crazy. Three minutes, 35 second timer. Presented by my timer. Why is it three minutes and 36 seconds long? Three minutes, 35 second timer. Me and my best friend, Amy. Okay, congrats for you. Congrats, congrats for you playing a freaking song from the Cranberries that's going to give me DMC aid. Video will play after ad. They didn't allow skippable ads. Hang on, I'm feeding Paul a little bit. How, three minutes and 50 seconds. You literally had one job. This is false advertising. Three minutes, 35 seconds. I see, oh, I got a Gotham chess video. It's three minutes and 36 seconds. That's fine. He's not advertising that it's three minutes, 35. Okay, I think I got one. I think I got one. The password, the caterpillars are doing fine. Give me a control shift V and then let's see how fucked we are. Why doesn't he copy paste caterpillars? Because I'm copy and pasting URL links right now. Things that made Gotham chess famous. New video, eight minutes and 16 seconds long. How is that relevant to what I... To what I put in here, 3 minutes 37, 336, 336, 336, 336, 21, 101, 336, 335, that's actually 344, 335, a 3 minute and 35 seconds video of me eating an egg. 10 views from two months ago. It doesn't appear to have any Roman numerals in it right now. Does the video check out? It confirmed checks out, okay? The Roman numerals must multiply to 35. A little help. X. X is a Roman numeral. That's fine. We just need to get 3.5 in Roman numerals and then multiply it by 10. Oh, you could... No. Remove one from the first. No offense. Do you know how multiplication works? It's different than the one that looks like this. Okay. We got it. We got to cut this. It, it simply will not work. Okay. So you got to go. Sorry to three minutes, 31 seconds of me eating an egg. We have to find another one. Peyton and Joey being siblings for three minutes and 35 seconds. I need to wait a couple of seconds to skip the advertisement here. I'm looking at the link. I don't see any, what I would consider to be Roman numerals, but control shift V me. Let's see if this checks out. It checks out. Peyton and Joey being siblings for three minutes. Thank you to Peyton and Joey. Your sibling rivalry may have allowed me to get through... Um, may have allowed me to get through this. Okay? It's like we added fluorine, potassium. Is, is Y just an element? Yes, yttrium. Okay. You can click the rule to do that. Prove it. Prove it. Fake news. Never mind. Why would you just honestly, why would you type that if you didn't have experience with it? Like you thought it would work like that, but you didn't know? Then fucking chill out, man. It's okay to just be quiet for like a minute when you don't know what's going on. Let the adults figure out, you know, where the restaurant is before you start ordering chicken fingers off the menu. We're not going to a place with chicken fingers, okay? We're going to a place you're going to probably have to get like orange chicken or something like that. Just relax. I'll find the parking spot. I'll drive the car there. You just tell me what you want from the kids menu. Give me one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. This game's hard enough without the misinformation is all I'm trying to say, okay? It's 23 plus 111, which is 134, plus Y, 134 plus 39, 173 plus potassium, 192 plus fluorine, which is 9. It's 201. And I can't delete any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I can't. I, I, I don't think I can do it, man. <laughs> I don't think I can. I don't think I got it in me. You, you, the capture doesn't need a reroll. It doesn't have an element, thankfully. But you, can you reroll chess? Ketter, Pilar. Um, can you just allow? Me, you know what? I really don't want to have to find another. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta start over, man. I gotta start over. Why did I delete that fucking cue like two runs ago? This is the hardest game I've ever seen in my life, and I love it. Also, I feel like I'm memorizing the periodic table in like the least efficient way possible, but that's okay. <sighs> I got to see Dan play this, man. Okay. Please choose a password. F. Funny. Your password must include a number. Funny one. And an uppercase letter. XXXV. Special character. Ampersand. Digits must add up to 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, one, two, three, four, five. Password must include a month. May. Pepsi. I'm gonna re-roll that one. I think it would be best to re-roll just to find one without numbers to begin with. Just so that we have more space. That's that's my perfect capture. I know we've used it a lot, but I'll take it. Windy. This is my chicken pole. Hello, Paul. Sorry. Egg. I'm not adding 177 H's, okay? That's just, it's just too much for me. Why not? <laughs> it's just too many to have to deal with. Although, I, you know what? It is kind of like a good strat, man. What about like... What about tens? What's what's the atomic number of ten? Neon. What about like N E N E N E N E N E N E N E N E. <laughs> Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. <laughs> All right, every neon is 10 and the nitrogen is 7. Let's play Dark Souls 2, episode 3 tests. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Paul's safe, Paul's safe. Let's play Dark Souls 2, episode 3 tests. That's me. 23 minutes, 25 seconds. 150,000 views from 9 years ago. Man, me and Drek, we've been in cahoots for a long time. Look at that. That's a, that's a decade-old Dracula fetus classic right there. So we added a W and an H. An H is 1, and a W is 74. So we added 75. So let me delete 77. It should be 7, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0, what have I done? <laughs> Hang on, give me a second here. I got lost. 74 is 75. 85, 95, 105, 115, 125, 135, 45, 55, 65, 75 plus 23. And then we need a two. We need a little helium thrown in here. Let's keep them grouped. Okay, now everybody slow your roll. I believe we can take a Z. We can't quite take an F. Can we take a U? No. We can't take a Y. We can't take an N. An N is too mission critical. Let me emoji this for a second. Caterpillar me. That buys us another little bit. 
Can we take a C? No. Can we take a K? Can we take a K? I don't see a single K. I don't see a single K. I think we can take a K, and I think we can take a Z. <laughs> your, pa your password must contain twice as many italics as bolds. Okay, you an idiot. We should uh, try to refactor it. Me a genius. I'm going to add 2x the length of this string in italicized zeros. This could take a minute. Those are already bold. You're absolutely right. Please unbold those. Are we good? At least 30% of your password must be in wingdings. <laughs> Hang on. Caterpillar. Your password must include this color in hexadecimal. I can do this. Turn this off. Right click. Save as. No. Uh, um, give, me, give me a second here. Paul, Paul's still chilling. Paul's doing great. Not, uh, okay. Uh, snipping tool. Windows snipping tool. New. Take a little snippet of the green. Copy it, load it into um, <laughs> Adobe Photoshop. And then while I'm doing this, just you take my word for it, I'm adding caterpillars. File, new, um, sure, the size is perfect. Control F, Control V. How do I know what, how do I know? How do I, I see what color it is. How do I know what its hexadecimal code is? Give me color matcher. It's 22CD6E. Oh. 22C. I don't did I did I copy paste it? Paul's doing fine. Paul's doing fine. Roman numerals must be in Times New Roman. That seems that's the most fair rule they've given me in a long time. Put that in Times New Roman, please. The font size of every digit must be equal to its square. I can do this. I can do this, okay? The square of zero is zero. <laughs> I hope that's good. No, it's one. No! Bring me back. Oh, I think they're back. Okay. Um, the square of U is four. Square of U is one. It's zero! Hang on. You're going to be a 36. And you are going to be a one. You're going to be a zero. You're going to be a zero. <laughs> and we're going to need some caterpillars. Every instance of the same letter must have a different font size. You piece of fucking shit. You ass. I don't think I can do it, man. I, I honestly, this is so much further than I thought we could get. He's, he's going to die of being overfed, man. 36. Everyone chill. We can get there. 42. 49. 64. We can't get there. We can't get there. There's not enough. <laughs> and now I can't find the fucking ease to delete them, man. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Hang on. Okay, we can do it. We just got to merge the neons. 
because we know that there are seven neons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten neons. Atomic element of 100. Atomic number of 100. Fermium. Fermium. All the vowels must be bolded. Every instance must have a different size. <laughs> okay. Everyone chill. This is still doable. You could be a 12. <laughs> Everybody just relax. We're going to be here for a minute. Font size of every digit must be equal to its square. That's right. Okay. Your square should be one. <laughs> your square should be four. Your password must include the length of your password. Okay, that's a problem. So we need to put a 4, a 3, and a 3, which is 10. We need to remove a 6, and then like 4 somewhere. But I don't see any other digits. Oh, but then it changes the length. You're right. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Just keep adding zeros until you get to 1,000. How do I even get to my wingdings, though? Like, where, where are they? There they are. Font size of every digit must be equal to its square. <laughs> okay, hang on. Zero, font, size, wingdings. Not bold. You want them to be italicized? I don't think they have to be italicized. Just italicized has to be twice what bold is. But we can add as many like normal characters as we want, right? That's correct. A lot of you motherfuckers aren't reading the rules of the assignment. I'm, I guarantee you're programming something fantastic, but because you didn't actually read the specs properly, your ass is getting like an 80 instead of a 95. You got to do exactly what it says on the spec sheet, okay? The length of your password must be a prime number. Well, that's going to be a pain in the ass. You need that six. It's for the hexadecimal code. Wait a minute. Does that mean I, I go back? You had it. <laughs> I don't think I had it. I don't think I had it, man. I go, here's a, we got to start with brass tacks. Okay. I have to be able to delete. Everyone chill. <laughs> I just need a I just need a minute, okay? I just need a minute. I just need a second to decompress from this because it's like, it's a lot. 1001 is prime. Okay. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> 1021 is prime. Okay, 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 okay. 1021. So we want to add zero pixel zeros until we're roughly in the ballpark. This is now a Kerbal Space Program. Then we have to type 1021. And we have to, I know, I know what we're going to do there. We have to delete. Four ones. Are we summing to 25? Yes. Okay. And then we need to add <laughs> font size of every digit must be equal to its square. So you got to be at font size four. You got to be at font size. Where am I? You got to be at font size one. You got to be at font size one. And you need to be at font size one. Font size zero. And then we need to be at 1021. So we can add caterpillars. Your password must include the current time. Okay. 
Your password must include the current time. I'm sorry, I think I'm done. I just, I... How many more rules are there? This is the last rule? Just wait for 1021. <laughs> Okay, to, so the current time is like one twenty-one. <laughs> it's like, a, I don't know if it could be like a worse time. It's like I gotta, by the time I finish this, it'll probably be like fucking one twenty-four or something like that. If, if even. One colon 21. One colon, tw okay, one colon 22. Okay, at least we have the format. Well, the fact, we have to do it fucking fast. Because pretty soon the, the tens column is gonna start getting one higher and when it's incrementing higher, then it's, I got less room to delete ones. I need to, to delete something that causes us to not sum to 25. I can get a new color. That's gonna fuck this whole thing up, man. <laughs> 130 isn't too bad. It's true. Hang on, we could plan for 130. How many, step one, figure out how many ones you got in reserve here, okay? Two. That's bad. You can wait until 2 p.m. Suppose that's true. I'm also thinking, isn't there... Let's say we waited till 130. We need to be able to delete four. So we'd need to get a hexadecimal code that has a two or lower. <laughs> so here's a question for you. I don't know hexadecimal codes well. If you, is there, what do the numbers uh, code for? Like if something is really dark, is it all F's or something, and if it's really bright, is it all zeros? Is how we, we want one ideally that's all letters that are not K or Z. And we only get one shot at 130, then it goes to 131. Otherwise, we're waiting until 2 p.m. I'm I'm worried he's gonna overfeed, man. Okay, hang on. I'm I'm going to my hexadecimal, I'm rolling. Come on, brown has to be pretty close. That's FC2F0A. That's even worse. Okay. Lower down. You're going to have a black screen for a minute here. Paul has two caterpillars. We're adding a few more. But not so many that he gets overfed. You're looking for bright colors. Okay. We're looking for bright colors. The color dropper indicates this is C810. That's not good enough. It's not good enough. It's okay, just do 2 p.m. Motherfucker, I've rerolled my hexadecimal. So now I gotta redo the whole shit because of the hexadecimals. I can't just wait for 2 p.m. anymore. I gotta, we, gotta, we gotta figure this shit out. Okay, that is an insanely bright color. I'm copying it into Photoshop. 131 is fine too. We're not gonna make it to 131. C8FCD0, brother! Black is zero, 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 zero. Okay, all I have to do is at some point in my life, I have to get the purest black that the, the I don't even know if it can spit it out. I'm, I'm, I'm clicking until I get black, but I don't even know if black's ever going to appear. I had a really dark gray and I rolled past it because I was clicking too fast. Dark colors, dark colors, dark colors, dark colors, dark colors. What about pure white? What's pure white? That's basically what I'm sitting on right now. That's like F, 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 F. Okay. Paul's fine, by the way. Um, snip me. It's not really pure white. It's like a little beige, but let me, let me check it out briefly. F4, E5, DC. It's horrible. It's actually, it's, it's horrendous. I didn't know how good we had it with our first roll. We should, never, we should have just waited like 10 minutes instead of trying to beat the system. This could be good. You don't understand, you're only concerning yourself with one rule, okay? 
you have to concern yourself with we can't have digits in the password that sum to over 25 and we've only got two integers of space right now so we're trying to get a hexadecimal code that like has all zeros in it paul's got three caterpillars i'm keeping you posted you have an eight an eight is too much we need two or less okay i have gray how's gray right right click emoji caterpillar gray me copy me paste me gray me a, B, C, 2, A, 0. Holy, okay. Now, everybody relax. <laughs> is it possible that Photoshop is reading it incorrectly? Or differently? It, it has the hashtag, I promise you. A, B, B, 2, A, 1. Oh, fuck. <laughs> A, C, B, 2, A, 2. You saved me! A, C, B, 2, A, 2. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now, it's 136 already. But now it's four. Oh. <laughs> How's Paul doing? Paul's doing okay, okay. Toss him some caterpillars. Wait for two and use the second two. Two behind the hexadecimal first. Two behind the hexadecimal first. So like I can definitely go two zero zero. That's a gimme, and I can wait till two p.m. We still need to figure out the sum total of our numbers. So let's just go. If we got that much time, then we got that much time. Okay. We had twenty five before. Are we at twenty nine? Let's see. If we make this zero. Zero, are we correct? No. Give me a second. I think you're right. I think you gotta add ones till you see it till you see it tick up here. We got plenty of time, but maybe not that much time. I think I added six. So we're at 19. Okay. <laughs> so wait, wait, hold on. I got to remember what the hell I'm doing here. We're at 19. The password is going to say two o'clock. But we need to get the font sizes right. Okay. Can he do it? It's tough. We're going to wait. We're, no, we're waiting until two. I'm sorry. We're waiting until two. We're feeding Paul. In theory, since what we're at 19, we should be able to just delete these two ones. That takes us to 17. We can check that by placing an eight. That's correct. Okay. Then place an eight at the end or anywhere. Place an eight here and then set it in size 64 font. Now we sum to 25. What happened to my YouTube URL? Not there. <laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> All Roman numerals must be in. I need to like shuffle the rules around. All Roman numerals must be in. Okay, you know what we can do? It's 140. Put that up there. It's 141. Prime number. We can't, we can't fuck with that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Every instance of the same letter must have a different size. Control C it. Fuck off with the Paul stuff. That's easy. We need, we need detail-oriented individuals to pour over the password line by fucking line, okay? Forget about the fucking copy-paste. You can save 0.2 seconds on every single caterpillar. Help me! Just solve, just do the rules so we can see. We can't, because if we put the current time, then we got to make sure it's a prime number and also include the length of the password just to see this. That's like a thousand things. It's, it's borderline impossible. Second A. Okay, 
64, 49. That did it. You saved me. Whoever said second day, you did an amazing job. Okay. The font size of every digit must be equal to its square. That means all twos must be in size four. All zeros must be in size zero. We could probably just, because I know it bothers you guys so much. Now we can focus a little bit on the caterpillars. Okay, now let's think straight, okay? At two minutes, <laughs> or at 2 p.m., we want to be on 1021, but we need, did we already write 1021 at the back? That's exactly what we're looking Okay, so we just want one caterpillar at a time and we wait for like 151. Oh, but I have current time of two. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. I'm sorry, I'm gonna wait. We're waiting for 2 p.m. You don't understand? It's a fool's errand to try to optimize it at this point. It's nearly impossible. It will take us half an hour to try to hit a timer in four minutes. It's not the right thing to do. Sometimes you just have to be patient. Think of what like an astronomer must have gone through in the Renaissance. You want to test your theory about like what the size of fucking Saturn is or something like that? Your ass has to wait 71 years for Saturn to rotate past the sun so you can have 30 seconds to do trigonometry or something like that that's what we're doing right now this is for galileo okay this is our wind condition all we need is for the earth to rotate a little bit we're just going to keep it zuzzy at three caterpillars now if the caterpillars do not if, if this doesn't solve immediately at 2 p.m then I will cry. <laughs> but we only have one rule. Your password must include the current time. The current time is, we, we just waiting for the current time to be two. Every other, all other 34 rules are solved. I'm not augmenting it at 152, okay? I'm not, 152, we can do it? No. Fuck you. <laughs> We're not trying to skip eight minutes. We're sitting here, you're exercising. This is what it was like, okay? In the year 1996, your mom says, I gotta go to the bank. Your ass goes to the fucking bank. You sit in a little chair. There were no ATMs, so you waited 35 minutes for the teller to actually get to you. Your ass just stared straight ahead at nothing for 36 minutes, okay? I can do this. I've done this before. We don't need to look at our phone. We don't need to eat dinner with, uh, you know, Cacao Talk open, YouTube on, Spotify playing over the speakers, um, you know, tapping our feet on the ground at the same time, flicking ourselves in the wrists. Everything's okay, all right? We just need to wait for eight minutes to come around. N nine minutes, sorry, nine minutes. And if, the if it doesn't win at nine minutes, then we wait 24 fucking hours. <laughs> How's Peloton going lately? Uh, it's going great. Thank you for asking. Today was the, the three ride day. Um, I do have to say I have a real complaint about the Peloton rides. My favorite kind of uh, themed ride is 90s rock. There are only, any Peloton users here, there are only like 50 songs they ever use on 90s rock rides. Give It Away by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Everlong Slash My Hero by the Foo Fighters, Fly Away by Lenny Kravitz, um, Semi Charm Kind of Life by Blur, which I'm not even complaining about, Alive or Even Flow by Pearl Jam, like, I, today I stacked three 90s rides together from their entire, sorry, by Third Eye, by, by third eye Blind, not by Blur, sorry, sorry. Um, I stacked three 90s rock rides together, and it was like playing the 
password game. I was trying to get a complete track list that didn't have any doubles. But my ass had to settle for like listening to My Hero twice. Because it, otherwise it's borderline impossible. But they were good. I think I had like a, started with like a 320 into like a 375 into like a, um, like a 350 or something like that. I don't know. Close, close to 1100 kilojoules in 90 minutes. Pretty good. Average wattage, roughly low 200s. You ever done a 420? No, but one of my fucking Peloton friends is ripping out 420s like nonstop and really pissing me off because they're doing a great job. I think that my my 30 minute personal best is probably like a four. It might be 420 something, but it was a it was a miracle day. It's not a miscalibrated bike, okay? You just your legs aren't as strong as mine, and that's fine. You can go. I I, I see it all the time. People, they try to catch me. They add me on Peloton. You, there's no way you ride the bike every day except for when you're on a Disney cruise. Why don't you go look through the fucking calendar, brother? I, I I'll allow the following request and then all of a sudden I see them go, holy! Anyway, if this doesn't work, I am going to cry a little bit. Because this is a big arc, man. Like, we, we put in the damn work on this one. Remember when I didn't think we could make it past the YouTube video? Also, has anyone beaten the password game using one of their own YouTube videos from nine years ago as the solution? Uh, <laughs> it's 159. It's 159. Still 115. It's two? Everybody relax. Is this your final password? Control at, control C, yes. Please retype your password. Control V, congratulations. He's done it. <laughs> With a staggering amount of help. Oh, dude, we were here. Librarian, you didn't have to do that, but thank you. Thank you for the the outrageously generous gifted subscriptions worthy llama thank you as well i hope you enjoyed that um young station thank you too i hope you enjoyed it because we're never going to do it again <laughs> slash marker password game slash moment please hey god you know what this would be a, it was well worth checking to see if moments exist S slash channel Social links? What the hell is this? Persona? Settings. Stream. Clip settings. Permissions. Raids. Squad streams. Drops and rewards. Is Dan around? Can we just get a... a, a like, wait, Kate, do you, have, do you have slash moments? I could raid you. And then you could do slash moment. That's please, that's not where they are. Hang on, hang on. One second. One second. The mods are trying to help me. Check your quick actions. Okay, okay. Stream manager. I know how to do that. Quick actions. And then I'm, I don't see it, so I'm clicking the plus. And I'm guessing that's in community. Here's what I got. Watch party, poll, goals, rated channel, channel points, reward queue, start a squad stream, start a prediction, start guest star. It's dashboard, content, Moments, dashboard content. I'm sorry, I have video producer, collections, clips, copyright claims manager. They really, they, they, they just don't want me to have it, man. They don't want me to have it. I don't know what else to say. Got to submit a support ticket. Ain't no way. But here's the thing. You know that you were here. You don't need a slash moment to know that you were here. You know... It lives right here. Anyway, oh, Kate, are you ready to stream? I'll send you over to my, my wife's stream if she's ready to stream. If you send them over, I will slash moment. There you go. You can get a bootleg slash moment from, from Kate's stream. That's perfect. Hey, X2 Mirko, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. I had a great time playing the password game. Let's do something tomorrow that is like brainless. <laughs> 
Because in particular, there were two things. Again, X2 Merco, thank you, thank you. There, there were two things that, that were really hard. One was the moving parts involved with getting a YouTube link with no Roman numerals in it and not so many integers that it caused the number, the sum total of all integer values in the string to add to more than 25. And then also, I just full stop, without chat, I could not have ever gotten the sync at like 1021 characters, like string length. I just never would have gotten there. It being a prime number that also allows you to... To, to just, because it's such a low integer value within it as well, I will never play this game again. Anyway, I'm happy we got there. Handsome Pansom, thank you. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Tennis, tennis semi-brainless for sure. Semi-brainless. All right, I'll send you over to my wife's stream. Enjoy, I don't know what she's playing. Kate, you should play the password game. <laughs> you could do, but don't copy my answer, okay? I don't even think you could because it's going to give you like a YouTube video of a different length. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it. See ya. Thank you, Ryan, for the raid. Thank you. Thank you. I will hold on. Also, has anyone beaten the password game using one of their own YouTube videos from nine years ago as the solution? <laughs> uh... <laughs> it's 159. It's 159. Still 115. It's two. Everybody relax. Is this your final password? Control at, control C. Yes. Please retype your password. Control V. Congratulations. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, we were here. Librarian, you didn't have to do that, but thank you. Thank you for the... the slash moment me, slash moment me. The llama, thank you as well. This would be a, I slash be moment well it, let's go. Exist. Streaming st settings. We did it. Partner. We this did it. Only setting. Slash moment, let's go. Let's go, there. we did it. We got it. Holy moly. Holy moly, dude. July 6th. Oh boy. 1,478 people got the slash moment. Beautiful. We are the chosen one. How does Ryan not have slash moments? Ryan, for some reason, doesn't have slash moments. He doesn't even have, like, the ad revenue thing he has like he doesn't have much stuff going on on twitch i don't know why whatever i'm old dude i was like you know like <laughs> can i tell you something i legit thought ryan was so crazy i <laughs> so like i i was panning ruka and then i i don't know if maybe like he just peed or whatnot but when i after i peed like a little bit of like you know like uh, urine came out and i was like ruka what the hell like go pee in the litter box right so i was a little concerned about that so i was like well i, I don't know if it like if the pee came out or like his butt was wet either way i was concerned so I brought up the topic to Ryan. I was like, Ryan, I think Ruka's getting older. And then Ryan's like, what happened? And I said, I was petting Ruka one day. And then when he gets like really excited, like he pees a little bit. Or like, and then Ryan said, who? And I said, what do you mean who? And then Ryan's like, you or the cat? And I was like, what? I was like, what? You think I would pee my pants? Since obviously the cat. And I was like, Ryan said, well, I mean, you said, you know, he's like, he's getting, like, someone's getting old, 
so I don't know, you're getting older, like, he's getting older, I don't know who you were talking to, and I was like, I'm not that old! I mean, <laughs> he gave me with the double punches, dude, he gave me with the double punches, he first thought I just, like, when I get excited, I pee my pants, and because I'm old, I was like, I'm so done here, dude, holy shit. <laughs> I looked at him, you, I was like, I bet if I was, if I was Ryan, I would be like, sweating bullets. If I, I looked at him before I answered him, when he said who, and I said, what do you mean who? And I looked at his soul, like, what? And then he's like, who, like, you or the cat? And I was like, I cannot believe this. Like, I cannot believe that Ryan thought I pee my pants. Holy fuck. I should have just said me. Yeah, I pee my fucking pants. When I pet Ruka, dude. Holy shit, I should have just said it. Seriously, how Ryan reacts. Four hours sleep a night for a week because my baby and my cats go apeshit all night. I don't know what's wrong with Ryan. Because, like, I sleep like a baby. I have a good night rest, and I wake up and I go, Oh, good morning. And then Ryan goes like, oh, oh. And I was like, what happened? And then Ryan was like, I could not sleep well because cats were crazy. And I'm like, cats were crazy? I didn't hear anything. <laughs> and then Ryan was like, yeah, they were fighting on the staircase. They were hissing. You know, like, Tomo was hissing. We're kind of hissing. They are going crazy. And then uh, I was like, what? I didn't hear anything. My brain looks like this, so hers can look like this. Excuse me. Are you calling me a smooth brain? Are you calling me a smooth brain? This guy accusing his wife, peeing his pants. Now he's calling me a smooth brain. It was crazy. Oh my god. Yesterday, I wanted to like... I never felt I gained... Like, I felt like I got 500 wrinkles on my face because like there was a foam roller that Ryan uses for like exercise and whatever. And then before that, they were like playing and they're like, daddy, daddy, eat this hot, like uh, eat this pepper, drink this milk. They were just pretending, right? And then uh, she was playing with the foam roller and then she's like, here, eat a taco. And then Ryan pretended eating the foam roller. And then he said, Ah, this is not a taco. This is big chili pepper. And then that set off a lot like laughing track. Because she was like laughing like, <laughs> Big chili pepper! <laughs> big chili pepper! And she was legit screaming laughing while holding this huge ass foam roller. And goes like, oh my god! Big chili pepper! <laughs> big chili pepper! Big chili pepper! Big chili pepper! <laughs> big chili pepper! It was like for uh, like an hour, right? Like, and then we, during that hour, we like left the house, got into the car, even in the car, she's screaming, <laughs> Big chili pepper! <laughs> big chili pepper! And I was like, I like, like, please calm down, no more, please, no more. And then, and then I, I said, please be quiet, no more. But then Ryan said, it's not funny anymore. Stop saying it. And then that made her so upset. And she was like, it's not funny anymore. But I want to be funny. I want to be funny, daddy. I want to be funny. Say something funny. And I, like, I don't know why, I don't know why Ryan had to go out and say it's not funny anymore. It was like, it was pretty rude. I said, I told her, like, stop it, no more. I cannot do it anymore, please stop. But then, like, Ryan just came out and then just said, like, it's not funny em anymore. I was like, wow, dude. Ryan did hit her with minus two. I saw, um... The new, like, the Zoomer way of meeting new, uh, what's it? Like, the partner, I guess, is to go on their Instagram. And then you know how there is, like, the, the search tab? You click on the search tab, 
then there's like all this like different posts of on Instagram that recommends like recommend for you and then it's like basically seeing that is better of a profile of knowing the other person than like whatever they come up with and then like it's always like for female uh fashion cute dogs cute cats cute animals plants and then they go like oh this is like what i'm interested in this is what the instagram algorithm shows me and then it's always like men it's like okay your turn and then he goes like um um no thanks and then he's like no yeah you showed i showed you i need to see your mind and I, I mean i need to see yours and then he goes like no i think i'm sick i need to go home it's like uh i saw and then there was like there was another version and then like the wife shows her search tab and it's like here's here's my algorithm what's yours and then the husband shows his to his wife and there were a lot of female working out and he's like you see i'm really into like fitness and then she's like uh-huh do you you think this is fitness and then like she clicks on the picture of like a, a a lady picking up the weight and you can see like her cleavage and like her boobs are like size of melon like it's out there and it's like that's that's working out for you and then he's like she's working out she's working out she's picking up the weight she's picking up the weight and she's like is that what you're looking at the weight let me look at yours you can look at mine you can look at mine if anything you will just see anime boobs <laughs> how many scrolls till i see a 19 year old k-pop stud with no shirt on what the fuck what the fuck I, I, I don't have that I don't, I don't look at that kind of stuff what the fuck you think i look at freaking shirt off k-pop boy band what if it's all anime boobs is that okay i uh, hear he knows he already knows the legendary tale goes like i i like i when when i when when we were living together i think i was 22 years old 21 years old no i think i was 21 years old and then um i had a bunch of anime posters it didn't matter like it didn't matter what kind of anime poster it can be like normal anime past poster or it can be like literally like boobs ass <laughs> i just like i just pasted that shit all over on on my area of the computer and then like i didn't care ryan didn't care until we had to call like the internet provider because like our internet was not working and then when he came to our apartment He's, he, I wasn't there because I was going to university back then. So, like, I was at home and Ryan was at home. And then the cable guy was like, oh, I see you're interested in, in, in that kind of stuff. And then Ryan was like, ah, fuck. And then he didn't know what he could say. Because if he says, like, ah, oh, that's not me, that's my wife. And then, like, obviously the cable guy is going to be like, yeah, right. Of course. Like Ryan, Ryan said he just like he, he ate it. He goes like, ah oh, yes. So now this cable guy will forever know Ryan is interested in like animal tits and ass. <laughs> it's like Ryan's side of the computer, literally nothing, right? Nothing, no posters, no anime or anything. My side of computer, like boobs, ass, anime, like it, it, everything. So I'm just like, oh man, that's so funny. His desk look like this, so Kate's can look like Booba. I, you know, I, I so like, I would decorate my room with all anime posters, but then now I can't. Because then if she ever, if my daughter ever brings her friends to the house, then I'm like, freaked. Like, if the mom sees, or the kid sees my room, and then the kid goes like, mommy, mommy, Luna's mommy is so weird. Or like, Luna's daddy is so weird, has all the naked lady posters. <laughs> it, was all, it was all cartoon out. And then like, everyone will think 
Ryan is bald and pervert. And I'm like, I can't do that, dude. I cannot do that to Ryan. Uh, in Discord, library was like, oh my gosh, my coworker is like casually coming over to my apartment today. But I have so many naked anime figurines at home. I have to go hide it or something. <laughs> not naked. Okay. But you know what I mean. Naked but not naked. And then um, I was like, oh my gosh. I cannot, I cannot believe like he got the uh, loot. It's not naked. It's tasteful. It's definitely. Yeah, buddy. It's. it's was freaking I was like, wait, do I have any naked figurines? And then like checked. Uh thankfully all my figurines are all very appropriate. Like no no nakedness. No like it's all it's all fully clothed. <laughs> Don't say naked please. Mine's are pretty clothed. What are you talking about? How can it be lewd but also at the same time? wearing pretty clothes that's just lie dude we know it's all naked did you see the picture it wasn't that bad no it was bad <laughs> that's pretty good wait there's a picture well how come y'all saw the picture but i didn't he posted it on twitter Bro, excuse me, tasteful, tasteful. It's like honestly, you should stop talking because it's only getting worse, like worse and worse. She's about to undo her bra, dude. How's that tasteful? Yeah, and then the other girl is like, she's she's uh, leaning forward with the bunny suit on. That's that's tasteful. The heck is going on in anime? All sorts of dirty shit. Oh my gosh, and Loli comes in and say at least they don't have any stains. Loli, what the hell, dude? You're so you're so messed up! Oh Loli and Library name a more degenerate combo. Oh no. Oh a la 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 <laughs> I wouldn't pose it like that, but it shows accurate. You're... You are, though. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> You're in trouble now? Oh, no. Do we plus two or minus two that, dude? Just give it a zero. Or round two. I, I agree with the zero. Let's let's give him a zero. Zero is not bad. Bad is minus two. Took my bike to the lake. Brought my shovel, brought my rake. Took my boy to the swing. Let him swing, let them ring. Bought my friends Italian beef. Make them fart and make them queef. Abraham Lincoln was governor here. Only a steel man can be loved. You know what I'm talking about? Sufjan Stevens?